So tell me about this address right here, 5165 Fort Apache Road, Unit 175, Las Vegas, Nevada. Tell me about this address. Fort Apache. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, oh, blend. <laughs> blend I was like, hold on a minute. Oh, yeah, I hate hit you with the address. We couldn't just straight up ask that, but yeah. There you go. <laughs> I hated the drive. I live in Henderson, mm. so it was a long drive, but well worth um, it. So how long yeah. was the drive from uh um, like 30 minutes, something like okay. that? Long drive. That's why I was like, Florida Apache. I never go over there. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, the big blessing in my life, Glenn DJ Institute. That's where I learned pretty much the whole mechanical end of DJing. Yeah. Nice. But okay, so why blend? Was there any other institutes, any other schools you were looking at were or was just blend top of your list? You know, I this was back in 2017, and I don't remember there being a lot of opportunities to learn, to be honest. Um, I had a friend come to me and he wants me to teach him how to DJ and I didn't have the time at, at the time, but I might take on some students, but I did my research and I was like, I wonder, you know, um, if there's schools out there still that do it and there's actually a lot now but back then there really wasn't. Um, I just remember um, the website, you know, and just being intrigued by the lessons and, and, you know, you go through a certain you know, series of lessons, and then you get your certificate, and then you move to the next level. And, you know, so I was like, okay, there's plenty of room to grow here. And they also teach how to produce there. So they teach scratching, um, digital DJing, all of that. So I was like, I can learn everything here. Very dope. So how, how were your classes? You know, how were they very intense? I mean, was there a time during class where you're like, I mean, this is this is nothing or was it was it challenging? You know, talk to me about your classes. Did you come home with homework? You know? Yes. Yes. So? Um, it was challenging. I dealt with a lot of social anxiety, and that's why I owe so much thanks to DJing because it absolutely got me out of my shell and helped me like face my fears. Cause there was this overwhelming feeling of like being scared to fail. Like I go in here and I'm putting myself out there to learn. And what if I'm not good at it? Wonder if, you know, they laugh at me, whatever those fears were. Um, you know, I walked in a little timid, a little shy, a little scared. And, you know, my mentor, Andrew, Andrew Bina, shout out. Um, he taught me a lot. So he helped me get out of my shell and just to be comfortable with what I was doing. Um, but I did get homework for sure. Some of the homework would be you know, whatever we learned that day, take it home and practice. Um, one of the things was I hadn't had a DJ name yet. And he's okay. like, okay, this is your homework. You need a DJ name. And I was like, well, you're Andrew B. How easy is that? You know, like, I was like, it's hard. Like incorporate your name in it is probably like the easiest. But um, I went home and I thought about it and thought about it. And I was like, shoot, I don't know. I came up with DJ Foxy D never really liked it it was just part of the homework and then it just grew on me and i was like i can't think of anything better so i'm just gonna stick with it what's going on dj family dj reese here every monday at 9 a.m i'm dropping a new podcast episode where i'm highlighting some of the dopest djs out there that are creating vibes at all the venues that they're djing at if you want to hear these stories level up in your djing if you're a new beginner dj you need new tips you want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new, that are taking their DJing game to the next level, well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. Every Monday, 9 a.m., new stories, new episodes from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now, hosted by DJ Reese. Again, check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. I'm not gonna lie, the pressure was so overwhelming as just a new DJ. It was extremely difficult just facing those anxieties and those fears from lack of experience in the professional setting, you know? No, definitely, I understand that. Man, that's whew, that's amazing. Like MGM, like definitely. Yes, was, it was yeah. exciting though, it, it absolutely was. But there was a lot of fear, like I said. Um, yeah. I guess just walking in my whole life, I've always had a nine to five job where you go in, you know, when you're working, you clock in, you clock out, 
here I was kind of going from place to place, a new setting, new settings. And it was just, I guess, the fear of the unknown. Um, and, you know, especially when you're out there DJing in the summer, it, it's like 115 degrees outside and equipment, electronics don't work well in the heat. So yeah. that was a whole stress on its own was the computers over overheating and glitching and just all yeah. the stress. <laughs> that. Oh, That's the biggest yeah. DJ nightmare. You got to get you one of, one of these fans. I, I mean, actually, I saw somebody on YouTube that had one. I'm like, oh, I got to get this because, yeah, that happened to me a couple of times. This summer. <laughs> Everyone has Terrible. those stories, you know, but I can Terrible. tell you my DJ nightmare for sure. <laughs> it was at the MGM um, situation. So, yes. My, so, OK, I was set up for success. OK, did everything correct. I had somebody who has been in the game forever helped me out and set me up for success. He was there. Mm -hmm. I had my computer on top of like a, a cooler of ice. I had a AC unit right next to me blowing freezing yeah. cold air. Um, I had, you know, water, everything that I needed. Um, and yet my computer was still overheating. So mm -hmm. he had made sure I was good and left, right? He's like, call me if you need me. And I think this was like maybe the second time I DJed there. So still very new okay. and my computer just goes in and out, in and out music stopping. And the, the, the worst part about it is not only was I DJing for the people in the pool, but I was also on the intercom on intercoms for the people in the restrooms, oh. the, you know, so the music's going in and out. And I have this most obnoxious guy, like doing backflips in the pool, splashing people. And he's like, boo, get a real DJ, boo. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I was seeing stars. Like I went into full like panic attack. Um, it was that, but also when you work out in the heat, you, you can't skip dinner. You have to eat a good balanced breakfast. You got to get good sleep. You got to stay hydrated. And these are things that I didn't prepare for. So I was went into like panic mode and I was like seeing stars and I just remember I put on like a premix and I just like went to the restroom and I, I call it when I when I tell the story I call it my eight mile moment because I turned right. something so bad into something that's actually inspiring I was like like Eminem dude around the the toilet just like gagging like calling my my mm -hmm. mentor and being like please help me I can't do this I can't do this he's like you can do this just take a breath you know and he's like I'm sending somebody over and that's what's so amazing about the DJ community is you you build friends and they have your back and um, DJ Tito showed up and he was just like hey go take a break I got you so he was spinning for about an hour while I got myself together and I went back in there and did my thing I just remember praying in the bathroom because I can hear the, the music I was like please don't oh. stop no dead air please <laughs> and I was like, I'll never forget nightmares. that. <laughs> That's what nightmares are made of as a DJ. And I was like, because the yeah. worst thing that can happen is the music stops, right? Because absolutely. What are we there for? But the thing um, that people don't realize that when it comes to outdoor conditions, heat, yes, it may happen, but that's not our fault. <laughs> you gotta be patient. <laughs> yeah. We can't control that. Like that, that's you know, and yeah, that that is like the that's the biggest nightmare, but it's like, you can't really, you can't really control it. Cause you can even, I've been under a tent and it's like still so hot and the laptop starts slowing down. I'm like, no, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's exactly what I was told too, is, um, you know, I can be really hard on myself, you know? And I just remember, um, my agent telling me like, look, this happens to everybody, everybody, yeah. unless you're like cascade or marshmallow. And you're like in those big events where they have, like, they're on like ice bars pretty much. Yeah. And they have the top of the line, everything, like it happens to everyone. And it's expected actually, like the managers know it. it happens to everybody. Um, but when it happens to you, it's like, Oh God, help me. Yeah. Jesus. Take the wheel, you know. Absolutely, <laughs> and people like don't realize, you know, DJs. We we go through it too, you know. Like sometimes, you know, on set we might have like a meltdown, and we're like trying not to exhibit and show any of it. But people don't realize, like, yeah, we like we go we go through it too as well, you know. Mm -hmm. like, lose our minds, and you know, and then come, you know, settle back, settle back in, and you know, get back to business. But it happens, you know. Gotta just when those moments happen, it's like. 
a little trick that I do is like, I just like zip myself up in this armor. Like, and I think about like, if I'm not feeling so confident, you know, this was years ago. I feel like I found my confidence. I found it finally. But, you know, back then I didn't have that necessarily because I was lacking the experience. And I just, you know, remember like being like, okay, who could I who could I zip myself up in that's confident, you know, like, and I was like, okay, Courtney Kardashian, right? She's like, I'm not insecure about any part of my body. A, B, C, D, F, G, this conversation's over. Just like unbothered. And I'm like, zip myself up in Courtney and I'm being Courtney right now. I'm just, you know, and I found my, I found though that by doing that, by not being myself, um, it was great at the time because I can get through my set and just, I essentially, I was like playing a part no. and, and I would just leave feeling like, like I wasn't good enough. I'd leave feeling like unworthy. I'd leave feeling so like insecure. And now I'm in a place where it's like, I know that when I walk on that stage, God has placed me there. And that's the greatest confidence that I could ever get is like, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks or says I'm going up on stage as Desiree where God called me and I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And that's the greatest confidence that I could ever, ever have. I don't have to be anybody else but myself. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is your calling. Keep doing it. And yeah, you got to like, I always say you always got to be your, the biggest cheerleader, like for yourself. Like you have to hype yourself up the most, feel the most confident about yourself because no one's going to feel the best about you except you, you know, you're going to really feel good about yourself. And, and you got to tell yourself good things too, even when you're not feeling good, because it's all about the mind. So like, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I used to think like, yeah, I'm just playing music, but no, it's, it's, it's deeper than that. <laughs> it, it, it really it's is deeper than that. You know, like yeah. it's not easy to get up there and like, you know, be under a microscope, essentially. Sometimes it feels that way. And sometimes yes. it's not easy, you know, and and that's where the confidence comes in and whether, you know, it's a good set or a bad set, because you, you know, as a DJ, something always goes wrong. Like whether it's a chord or yep. <laughs> you forgot something or whatever, it's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to, to grow in every aspect. So I, that's how I see it. Absolutely. What's going on, DJ family? DJ Reese here. Every Monday at 9 a.m., I'm dropping a new podcast episode. I'm highlighting some of the dopest DJs out there that are creating vibes at all the venues that they're DJing at. If you want to hear these stories, level up in your DJing. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips. You want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new, that are taking their DJing game to the next level. Well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. Every Monday, 9 a.m., new stories, new episodes, from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now. Hosted by DJ Reese. Again, check out WeCreateTheVibes.com.